Hey kids, sorry I've been missing. Life has just been really interesting lately. There's been a lot of things happening. So many things. I'm gonna do a couple quick videos. This way, I should have a video for today and, or for Wednesday, and then the following Wednesday for sure. And I can try and work on some longer videos in the meantime, because life seems to be settling down into a reasonable format now. So I wanna talk a little bit about Motion Pass, especially you, you animate CC flash crowd. This is something that you're used to having. And it it does exist in harmony in a way because all of these pegs are motion pass. They're all just a little box holding on to some motion information. And there's different ways you can use that. So generally we use separate pegs. And here I'm just using, this is just the options box. And within the transformation tab, you have the option position wise of 3D path. And if I click this, it's gonna change this a little bit or a separate path. So the separate path is usually what's used because, boop, I'm gonna put it over here and then I'm gonna put it over here. I put, hit shift F11 and this is going to show me the traditional motion path that you're looking for. So here it's gonna move all along here. And if I add a keyframe here, boop, then it's gonna go down and then up. So it's going to go into direct path. What I can do is change this peg here to a 3D path and put him here. And I can move these different peg positions by moving these little X -y circle things. I don't actually have to uh, slide back and forth here. But if I put one in the middle here, boop, show you both my motion paths. This is the 3D path. So it's going to give you a curved line. This is going to give you a point to point. So if you're animating a big busy character, this one is a little bit more controllable. You understand where things are going to go. But the advantage to the 3D peg is that you can add points. So I'm going to just press the P key and it's going to give me a point that I can slide along this curve and I can manipulate it any way I want. So if you have to do a bird flying through your scene or something that's a little bit less predictable, um, I use this a lot if I have to do a lot of leaves falling or something like that, I can give them nice beautiful curved paths, whereas with the separate peg, I'm gonna have to put in a lot more points to try and combat that. And you also cannot add a point to these. These are the the keyframes here. And of course you can add as many keyframes as you want to try and get that smooth curve. Boop, boop. But it's going to take a whole lot more effort on your part to build a curve. You can also select all of these, use this little guy here, boop. Create keyframes on. I'm gonna say to create them on twos all the way along. And now if I wanted to build a nice curve, I could use these points to create it without having to try and move my ball around at all. Beep, 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 beep. So I know some people really vilify the 3D path because they've built rigs that have a 3D path pegs built in and they've had trouble with their arms kind of doing weird swooshy things or they can't quite figure out why things aren't working the way that they want to. So if you do have a rigged character and you find that you're you're getting strange loopy curves and stuff, because every now and then you'll get something like this and you won't really know why. So check to see if you've got your stuff on 3D path, try separate for your rigs and use 3D path when you need something that's really smooth like this, something that's floating through the scene. And if you have a rigged character that is all set up to 3D path and you wanna change everything, you can control A to select everything in your scene, hit this little three golf clubs looking guy and it's gonna set properties for many layers and you can choose if you wanna leave them alone, set a 3D path or set a separate path. So you can switch them all to separate using this rather than going into all your options boxes. It will save you a million times to know the difference between these and use them at the appropriate times. Thanks for dropping by. Love you guys.